All right, so due to the reaction I got to the uh, last video I went and put up, uh, I'm going to be using this as a tutorial for how to go and set up uh, Oculus hand tracking inside of the new set of courses CSP update. All right, so the first main thing that you want to make sure you have enabled is hand tracking on your Oculus Rift. So if you do not see the button, you're going to want to go into settings, hands and controllers, and then click the toggle switch for hand tracking. The second thing you need to go and make sure of is that you have Virtual Desktop installed on your Oculus Rift headset. Uh, you do not need the Steam version as you're going to be passing uh, input from the headset wirelessly uh, to your computer. Uh, next I'm going to go and show you how to go and set up the Virtual Desktop Streamer app uh, on your computer. Alright, so in order to go and set up Virtual Desktop, first you're going to want to go and get the Virtual Desktop Streamer set up EXE from the link that I put down in the description. We're going to open this up. It's going to start the thing. It's going to open up your Oculus app. And we're going to launch Virtual Desktop Streamer. It's going to go and throw up some warnings. I should probably pay attention to those, but it didn't hinder me from accomplishing this. Uh, entering your Oculus usernames. Uh, so I'm going to enter mine. Save that. Uh, as for options, preferred codec, you should set to H.264, uh, uncheck automatically adjust bitrate. Um, I haven't tested it with on or off, but the tutorial that I linked below uh, said to go and have this checked off. Um, other than that, all this should be good. Uh, it shows my graphics card here and the codec that I'm using. And that should be good. So if I close this, now you have virtual desktop streamer set up. So I would like to go and point out that uh, before you go and try to go and get in the game, please make sure that you have uh, the virtual desktop application open on your Oculus headset. Otherwise, uh, this will not work. The only part that we really need to go and focus on in the custom shaders patch section is going to be uh, under mode tweaks and VR. Um, so just going, the purple ones are what I've changed from default. So the first one we have is uh, I have single pass stereo on that doesn't, really matter for this. It's just a feature that I'm testing, but since it was highlighted, I figured I'd let you know. Um, I've disabled render controller as two points, so this is just going to get some of those, um, the crosses for where the hands are turned off. Um, same with the render controller's directions as blue lines. And then the main feature that you need to go and check off is the move driver model hands with controllers. Um, this is what's going to actually do the uh, moving player model. Uh, you'll also want to go and make sure that you have arms and wheel enabled. Uh, you can get to this quickly by right clicking and uh, it'll bring up this little quick switches menu. So make sure that those are on. Over here are my video settings for Soto Corsa. Um, for in order to be able to go and do this normally if you're using an Oculus going through Oculus VR you'd be using the Rift setting, but for this we're going to have to use OpenVR because this is passing through uh, the Steam VR app. All right, so for the next section over here, here are just my video settings that I've linked below. Um, you know, your mileage will be will vary. Uh, my computer specifications are most likely going to be different than yours, but uh, here's what I have for reference. The main part that is uh, highly important for this to work is OpenVR. If you go to Oculus Rift, this will not work uh, because this has to pass through Steam VR. So. Make sure you have this set to open VR in order for this to work correctly. Um, I actually have these settings fairly conservative except for MSA and anastropic filtering. Um, and I'm still getting a hefty 35 FPS versus uh, what I'm just doing. This normally through Oculus Link. Um, I get a locked 72. So this is very uh, hardware intensive as a disclaimer. Okay, so I'm having to record this clip a little bit afterwards while I was uh, editing the video because I had the audio messed up on the OBS recording. As you can see, everything's working uh, in-game. It's a little bit glitchy, uh, like my fingers will go up a little bit sometime. The way that I have uh, my stuff set up in real life is not exactly one-to-one -one with the car that I'm driving. You can use onward settings to kind of adjust for that, like moving yourself forward and back up and down so that your hands end up in the right place. You know, it's not exactly perfect. This does uh, introduce a interesting topic of like, you know, now we can use hand tracking to go and line up, you know, models, or maybe you have to go and keep that in mind now to uh, line up with what you have, but 
this is where we're at. So uh, I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Um, I got a lot of feedback on the first video, which I thought was pretty interesting. Yeah, I'll be answering questions in the comments, as I had been on the other posts, so uh, yeah, thank you.